Good morning. It's the 8th of May, 2020. My name is Mark Pesci. Welcome to the next 100 seconds. One aspect of contactless culture that we're now immediately familiar with is the fact that we've migrated away from cash in Australia. Most places don't want to take cash anymore because it's been in someone else's hands. It's dirty. It's potentially a vector for the viral infection that's pandemically raging around the world. And so cash has been seen basically as dirty, and not just dirty, as old-fashioned. Australians were migrating away from cash before this. But Although migrating from cash sounds really nice, it does have its share of problems. During the bushfires that happened immediately preceding the pandemic, when there were mass evacuations, particularly from the south coast of New South Wales, at the time that the bushfires were moving through, at the time when the communications and the power were being interrupted by that, people would try to fill their cars up at a petrol station, and they would find that they wouldn't be able to pay because they only had contactless payment systems, and those systems were not working. That, in fact, the gas station owner needed to be paid in cash, which you couldn't get because the ATMs were down, and your cards weren't working, and your Apple Pay wasn't working. And so when we think about contactless culture, we have to think about it more than just removing touch. We have to think about all of the resilience of all of the systems that go into making something that's contactless work. So it involves systems thinking, systems resilience, and a comprehensive approach that allows us to create a contactless culture that will truly be useful and won't fall down the moment that we really need it. And that's 100 seconds.